across my heart ministry, Laurie McFarland here, your host. Our regular viewers know that every once in a while we get in the kitchen on a Monday and we present a video that usually is a recipe. Sometimes it's an organizational tip or something to do with managing home. But today it's going to be a new recipe for something that I'm calling deep dish pizza pie. And it is February and my first thought was, well, I should do a Valentine themed recipe. But when I realized that it was the, the month that includes National Pizza Day, I just couldn't resist. So that's coming up on Friday, February 9th. And maybe this would be a new recipe that you would want to make for that day for your Valentine's sweetheart during the month of February. So if you come back to our channel on Fridays, you'll have a teaching video because Cross My Heart exists to encourage women to love God and to love His Word. So we, we do get in the kitchen and we do, do, do these fun sort of Martha Mondays, but we're really all about the Word of God here. So without further ado, let's get right to our recipe. It's a pretty simple one. It only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients, which for a main course is not so bad. You can make this and then throw a tossed salad or some cut up fresh veggies with some dip and call that dinner. So I've got the, the oven preheating probably a little early. I have already browned a half a pound of ground beef and a half a pound of ground sausage. Now you can make that combination any way you want. If you prefer ground turkey to make it a little healthier, sometimes if a recipe calls for ground beef, I'll do half ground beef and half ground turkey. My man doesn't necessarily like the flavor of ground turkey, but he finds it palatable if I will use some ground beef with it. So sometimes we do that. When I really want to make my chili or my spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce rock, I do have sausage and have ground beef. It is a lower in fat ground beef, so that made me feel a little better about it. The recipe calls for half a cup of diced onion. I've already done that. So in this bowl, I have the ground beef, the sausage, and the diced onion. That's already been done. And I'm going to heat it up on the stove. I just wanted to let you see me do this. Now, I put in the recipe at just a jar of spaghetti sauce. I Sometimes when I make this, I make a lot of spaghetti sauce at once and, and then I freeze the rest. So I wasn't exactly sure of how much I needed to use. So I'm sort of going to do it on the fly in here to take good measurements and then I'll adjust the recipe accordingly. So I'll just get that popped in there. Here we go. Now, this is a jar of spaghetti sauce. Have you noticed that the jars are smaller than they used to be? So we need to adjust our recipes accordingly. So this is 24 ounces. I'm going to sort of mix that in my pan to heat this up because it is good if you have it already bubbling a little bit and warmed when you put it in the oven to bake with the crescent rolls. The thing that makes this so nice and go together quickly is that it does have a crescent roll base so you don't have to make a homemade pizza, a homemade pizza crust or anything like that so i think it looks like that one jar is just about perfect so i'm not going to worry about this second jar so that part works we're going to take our well let me first of all let me go ahead and get this on the oven and get it to start to warm up and then while that's happening I'm going to go ahead and get the crescent rolls in the pie plate and show you how to do that. Be right back. Okay, deep dish pie pan. Here we go. I'm gonna spray it because you do not want it to stick. There we go. Now, we're going to also just remember, I need to add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning to that mixture. So I'm gonna put this in to my spaghetti sauce in fact, it hasn't probably started to get hot yet, so let me get a hot plate to put it on, and I'll bring it right back. So I'm going to drop in one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning, you can mix together a little basil, a little oregano, yeah, and just kind of make it work. But since I do have Italian seasoning, I'm going to mix this in. So it's going to add a little more flavor. I'm sure if you don't even have it, it might be okay because the spaghetti sauce already comes with some good flavoring in it. So there, we got that all mixed in. 
back to the stove with the sauce to heat up to bubbling. We're finished with this and we're finished with this spray. So now we've got our pie plate all sprayed. I have crescent rolls. I am not brand loyal. They don't have to be Pillsbury for me. This is a Walmart brand. If I had shopped at Aldi, I would have picked those up. It just doesn't really matter that much. There are eight of these. And the trick is that when we open them up, we're gonna spread them out. And we're going to put the large, they're going to go out in a triangle. So the skinny little tip is going to hang over and then fold back over the top. We're going to put the bigger end in the center and then press those in together to form the base. So here we go. I'm going to put that in the middle. The, the pointy ends are going to kind of hang over as such. And I just sort of like to... Press them out just a little bit. And so when I do this, I sort of do the first four equal distance apart, almost like the four points of a compass rose. I spread them out just a little bit to get the pointy things to come. Then, so those are in there like such. Need a little bit of point because we're going to bring that point back. So sometimes I just spread them out just a little bit more so that I've got enough to fold back over the top. Now, I've got those four. Now I'm gonna go back and do the remaining four in between these. So they unroll pretty easily. Separate them. I'm gonna sort of mesh them out just a little bit so that I have a little bit more room at that point to fold over. Separate, and then these will go in between, like such. This one goes here. I can hear my, don't make this here any longer. I can hear my spaghetti sauce starting to get warm over there. It's gonna, this goes together so quickly once you have this made. In fact, here's my other little tip. If you buy the sausage to do with the grab beef, go ahead and buy a full, go ahead and buy a full pound. You can't really buy a half a pound of sausage anyway. So use a pound of sausage and a pound of ground beef. Go ahead and brown all of it with a, with a whole onion because it calls for about, about a half a cup of diced onion, but a whole onion that size is about one cup. So go ahead and do all of it. That's what I did. I've ground all that together and then I saved half and I cooled it and I'm gonna freeze that. And then guess what? I can make this again in a couple of weeks if I want or if I need to take a meal to a friend. And I've already got the mess, I've only got the mess once. I've got that greasy mess with the pan only to be done one time. And this goes together so quickly. Now, there's kind of what it looks like if you can see but I am going to go ahead and take my little Pampered Chef roller pin and just sort of roll this together so that I've got a complete crust. And it covers the bottom and up the sides a little bit. And almost finished. I said it goes together very quick, very easy. Just a great quick family night, weeknight recipe for you and your family. I think this is one that your children will like because it's just kind of a new twist on an old favorite. Everybody loves pizza. What's not to like? And so if you wanted to, you could even add some green pepper or some other veggies if you wanted that in here. Just be as creative as you want. It's just pizza. So anything that you would normally put on pizza, I guess you could put some pepperoni in there if you like. I'm going to turn down my pizza sauce because I think it is oily. And I don't want it to stick. So I've got that stirred up. And it is ready to go as soon as I get this all rolled out. Just like so. The little Crescent rolls do kind of come up the side, 
But the biggest thing is I just want to have a nice crust on the top. So if I've made it too thin down there, then I say about using my little handy dandy pepper to a cooling pan as I can sort of spread that out. Okay, so there you go. It's all spread out. Ready now for that sauce to be poured in. See how quick this is? So easy. Now I'm gonna bring this back so that I can put my sauce there. Here we go. Going to squeeze a ladle to get that out. Go. Now, the cheese, I've already, it just calls for mozzarella cheese. If you want to use an Italian blend or something different, that's fine. But I measured out the two cups of the mozzarella cheese. We're going to go ahead now and put the sauce on right on top of my pretzel rolls. Here we go. Just like so. Filling it up, and again, it's nice and piping hot. It was boiling, so that's good, ready to go. It's getting heavy. Let me put that down. So. All this in, and the nice thing is I've got the oven already preheated. It bakes for 18 to 20 minutes, so again, Pretty quick and easy to put together, especially if you take my idea for that tip to do the, the meat ahead of time and have that frozen and then you just have to heat it up again. Okay, so I'm going to do half, I've got two cups here. I'm just going to sprinkle about half of that mozzarella cheese right on top, just like so. Spread it out. And then we're gonna do some on the top after we fold things over. So we're gonna bring these tips to the middle, like such, bringing them across to meet in the middle, like so. They don't really overlap, they just sort of touch in the middle. And it's not exactly perfect, but close enough. So you can sort of see what that looks like. I'm going to bring it around to the camera before I put the cheese on so you can see what that looks like. You see how the little pointy tips just barely meet in the middle. So we've got that ready. I'm going to sprinkle the remaining cheese on top. This is going to be so delicious. It's going to put it right on top of all the way around on top of the the rolls here, the crescent rolls, and everything else. It's gonna be a cheesy delight here. So just dump the rest of that in, and voila, we are ready to go. I may have saved a little more cheese. In fact, I might sometimes typically do more cheese in the base and less on top, but I think that looks good. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes, and I will take a photo when it's all finished to let you see what it looks like. I hope that this might be a recipe that you will want to try with your family. Let me pop it in here. Set that timer. And so basically what we're looking for is just to have those rolls be lightly golden brown. Everything else in there, the cheese will melt. We're not cooking any meat, it's already cooked up. But I think this would be a great make and take meal for a mom that has had a new baby or if you need to take a little potluck to church or to your small group, I think it's one your children would enjoy, your great kids. Leave me a note below and let me know what you're doing to celebrate National Pizza Day. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with us. For Press Heart Ministry, I'm Laura McFarland.